and action. We Are Who We Are is very intimate look into coming of age through friendship. It's an emotional roller coaster. People trying to figure out who they are and being comfortable with it. It's real life. The script is all about real human experience, something subtle and honest. When I read the script, I love it. It's a micro world. Nobody saw the reality this way in a show. When I define a character, first of all, I talk with the director. So the meeting with Luca, it's the principle of everything. Luca gets very involved and um, he knows exactly what he, what he wants. And he was very specific about the look of the show being real. It's not Instagram, it's not, there's no filter, it's reality. Lift, 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 right, lift. We visited a military base to see what it was like. It's like really amazing how in the middle of Italy, you walk into an independent world of a slice of America all of a sudden. Luca, he said to me at the beginning, I don't want makeup, I don't want to, let's not make up the, the actors. When I arrive at the real base, I say, okay, I understand now what he means. I like your shirt. Thank you. Where'd you buy it? <clears throat> Online. How much? <laughs> you don't want to know. Well, Luca was very specific about Fraser. Like uh, a lot of kids today, he's very interested in fashion and he's able to buy it online and receive it and then create his own style with it. With Fraser, he has no makeup. Some stuff happens during the show. Little things to define his character because he's kind of a bit different from the others. Jack went to Milan to a colorist because these colors are very delicate and specific. We just wanted to make sure everything was seamless, so sending them out to a colorist was the best option. He brings realism into the fabric. Now do you see? Maybe, but don't tell me that you'd actually wear that stuff. But it's look like a dress. He doesn't look at gender and he, he, there's a lot of women's clothes in his wardrobe. Some things are vintage and some style comes more from the 90s and acid house look and then some of it is really from Japan and he really knows his trade. He's really into fashion and he's kind of been in his own head and he loves his music and he loves kind of isolating himself. He's his own species. For some reason I hate your clothing. It's fast fashion. You buy something that you think you like and in two months it ends up in the garbage. Mm. I'm looking for stuff that means something. I wanted the Caitlyn that we meet to be a girl who is feminine without knowing she is, and she becomes a woman, that really triggers something for her. And from then on, I wanted the development to be slow. I didn't want her to really understand what she wanted right away. I wanted it to really evolve with time. The story begins in the summer. So she's more feminine, she wears makeup. We never see it, but it's kind of more glow and more feminine. Then, uh, when she decides to shave her hair, she has no more makeup, and I made some shadows to make her more mannish. <laughs> the best part about playing Caitlyn is how relaxed she is. She's not prim or proper, and she, her clothing is very, loose fitting and I love that, not having to wear tight stuff all the time and I love wearing minimal to no makeup every day. We wanted Caitlyn's transformation to happen in a naive way. She does want to look like a boy, but I think she does it in a way where it's more about hiding her femininity and her feminine side. It's not necessarily about getting the look right. We had to put all this hair away. She has a full natural style wig on and we had to tuck it under a hat. And she had a mustache and boys clothes. So we had to really conceal that she was a girl to pull off those scenes. Hey, Bobby, Bobby. Here we are, that's the house. Buongiorno. This land that we're sitting on was already chosen when I came here. So it was how to fit the script into this place. The first priority is where are we gonna put the grocery store? Where are we gonna put the movie theater? Where are we gonna put the training field? Where are we gonna put the village? We had a lot of infrastructure that we had to bring water to the base. 
We built roads. We built a little neighborhood. We put all the light posts in, all the grass, all the trees. We use every inch of this 17 acres. <laughs> Supermarkets and military bases are the same all over. Same aisles, the same stuff. Everything's in exactly the same place. They say they do that so we don't get lost. Every detail is important, down to the cans of beans on the shelf. Every item has to be American in the grocery. The labels on the books in the library are English books, which isn't so easy in Italy. They all have special labels, the way that they do at the real library. Every detail counts. Salute and down. I hope when people see the show, they are not think about the makeup. We are gonna be so involved in the story of all these people that my job will disappear. Hopefully they just think we shot on a real base. That's the best. I like to make people feel good, and I like to make characters come to life. If I see something on paper or somebody has a vision, I want them to be happy with it, and I want them to feel like it's real.